Hey there internet welcome back to a brand new video this is Prithush your instructor and in this video we will be creating our very first own rock paper scissor game just using python eel and javascript so here is the basic demo of our application so here is the basic application where you need to just hit all these buttons for example i am choosing rock then this will say you choose rock and the computer choose tape up and you lose so this is the basic game and I will, I will choose paper here and again he's using scissor let me choose scissor and he's choosing rock so you can just win here like that you choose paper and computer choose rock and you win so this is the basic application and you can see here that we have other additional features like computer and you the count wins are there and it will basically count all the turns or you have win the match so basically this is the basic application that we are going to be creating in this particular tutorial. So for this tutorial you have to need some requirements out right there so which you need to install on your computer. I will show you next. So let's basically start coding. Before coding you will need some dependencies. For example we will need a module known as eel. So simply pip install eel. So this is the basic command to install it and hit enter. Now another command is for installing the pi installer to make the application a GUI one. So just make a package or, or something like that. So simply pip install pi installer. So this is the basic commands and hit enter. So after installing all of the dependencies let's get into our code editor and let's start with the basic coding. Alright so here we are inside our code editor and here I have created a file. Basically this file contain all the things of the good stuff are right there. So basically this contain a style CSS and an HTML file with py file and another one is JavaScript file. So basically we have to open the JavaScript and Python because I will be showing you the basic JavaScript file and I will be explaining you the core concept and the backend of the program. But before doing everything you need to make a folder known as web and then you have to make another file known as proxrps.py I have created it for my name and you have this python file open. So in order to access this file and run this file we will be using a module known as e. So let's basically import this module by using import statement and after importing let's say eel we need to import eel. So let me zoom in a quite little so that you can see everything clearly. Now in order to access the file we need to just show the yield that where is our file are. So basically we can use that yield dot init. Init is a function which will say that where your files are where your dependencies are. For example in this particular project I have created a web folder where all my dependencies that HTML, CSS and stuff are there. So let's write another code here to start the HTML file. So in order to start we can use the start function. So eel dot start function and now you have to pass in the variable that is index HTML. Now we need to specify the size of the screen basically using the size equals to and now you can specify your size for me it should be 1000 and uh, multiplied by 600 this will be better for my project. So after doing so control command s to save your project and let's move into the javascript file. So here is the basic javascript file let me show you what is going on here. In the first statement it is just uh, first of all it will stating all the variable here to null value here you can see we have just stated everything to zero at the starting at the initial value should be zero now it is getting the element id from the result and displaying that particular thing now you can see that we have created different objects here like rock if rock scissor paper lose win draw all these things for scissor if rock will be there then it will be lose scissor will be there then it will be draw and paper will be there then it will win. So basically these are the statement and conditions which we have stated out right there. Now here in this we have created a function here basically. Now 
this contains some choices like rock paper scissor we are using mat module here basically to choose some random numbers so mat dot floor we need a floor value so we are using floor function and a random module here which will be multiplied by 3 so simply these are the thing and you can see that we have we are getting the element id from that particular file and now we have different choices let the computer be choose the choices here the choices are from the mat.random and now in case of win the background color should be different and the color of background should be changed into something like yellow or orange something green like that so i have stated the background here through green and it will show me that you win now if i lose then it will show red color and it will display you lose if draw it will doesn't change any color it will state the simple color that is orange one and it will show me that you have draw so these are the basic things now in order to get the element from the inner html i use document.get element id by computer score which will just uh, give the score to this particular file and uh, now i have created another function here basically get element id by user score which is uh, the score of the user and it will display it on the score function that we have created at the side of the html so basically these are the code here you can see here you can download this whole project from the description below and you can try out or make some trial with that particular thing you can modify the project and you can serve it to anyone so this is the basic application that we have created in this particular video if you really like this video and this video was really helpful for you then please consider subscribing and hit the like button below so i will meet you on another tutorial until then, keep creating.